Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI training part 13. In this training module, we're going to be exploring and working with our target air fuel table programming. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at programming our target air fuel table within our Holly Sniper EFI system. Now, our target air fuel table is very simple, but yet powerful in what it can do within our air and fuel model. We've briefly talked about that in our volumetric efficiency specific tutorial. And we'll also find that it's going to influence the closed loop functionality when we're monitoring what's going on with our lambda oxygen sensor that's mounted in our exhaust stream. It's gonna drive that closed loop correction behavior and our long-term correction behavior. So we wanna make sure that we have our target air fuel table programmed correctly based on the engine that we're working with and the specific application, whether we're naturally aspirated, force induction, so it'd be supercharged, turbocharged, whatever the, the application is going to be, we wanna make sure that we have proper target air fuel values in the table so that we have a safe starting point and then we can come back in and update those values at a later point in time and we're gonna learn how we don't have to actually touch the main fuel table, main VE table, in terms of getting to the new air fuel target. We simply can just edit the values in the table. I'll be doing a demonstration a little bit later in the tutorial showing you how that's going to work live with the engine. Let's jump in here and take a look at all, where we can find our target air fuel table and then we'll discuss how this fits into our air and fuel model. So if we take a look at the file I have open, this is gonna be a sample file, stockcam.sniper. If I move up into the fuel ICF up here at the top and we work our way down here, we're gonna find that we have our target air fuel ratio table right here. Now the way this table is set up is on the simple mode and Holly's gonna assume that you wanna do something basic. All we have to do to populate the target air fuel table with values is simply go in here and specify what we want to have at idle condition, what we want to have here at cruising conditions, and then what we want to have at wide open throttle. Now we don't want to work with this simple mode. We want to switch this over here to our 2D table and actually have direct access to editing the values within the table. We want to be more specific with this. That simple mode is something that gets implemented when you're running your handheld controller. Because we can actually interface with this and program it live with the laptop, we absolutely want to do it that way. We have more control and we can be more specific with how we program. All right, let's jump in here and talk about how the target air fuel values in the table here influence our fueling to our engine. So how much it's going to increase or decrease the injector pulse width. How does it fit into the bigger picture with going on here with our main VE table? So in our main VE table here, just really briefly, again, we've had a whole tutorial on this already. In the main VE table, this is an estimation of airflow coming into the engine. In fact, the values in our table here are estimations of percentage of cylinder filling, how much uh, we're packing the cylinder with the theoretical maximum uh, volume of airflow based on things like the number of cylinders and engine displacement. So we've talked about all of those calculations already. I don't need to get into that. But what we'll take away here just really briefly is that the VE table represents the air mass coming into the engine. This is an estimation of air mass. If we fit a mass airflow sensor onto our engine, we'd be able to directly measure the air mass while the VE value and the VE calculations are going to estimate the air mass. So we have our underlying equation, fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. Now, if we essentially dialed our VE table in here, we've specified the VE percent, it goes through the calculations, it figures out what the estimation of air mass is coming into the engine. Then we can flip over here to our target air fuel table. This is what we specify we wanna run the engine at in terms of our target air fuel. Now, if you're not familiar with what air fuel actually means, it's what the value we would have or with the desired value we'd have if we have our oxygen sensor in our exhaust stream and we're measuring how many oxygen molecules are in our exhaust stream and it's going to tell the holly here how rich or lean of a mixture we have so the higher the value in our table here that means that we have a leaner mixture the lower the value we have in our table would be a rich mixture we want to run our engine ideally for the best balance of fuel economy and performance in idle and part throttle conditions at 14.7 to 1. That's stoichiometric for petrol based fuels. And we'll find if we put that value in here, something like idle with your uh, sniper system and may not run so smooth, 
We'll talk about that here in a little bit in terms of the values we want to program in here. But what we're finding is that when we specify the target air fuel ratio in our table here, whether we're in idle conditions, whether we're in cruise conditions, or whether we're in wide. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.